Hello, my loves. Welcome to Lifestyle Manifesting. I'm Shannon, and I talk all about manifesting as a lifestyle. You are exactly where you belong right here. I am your favorite manifestation coach because you have success. You are having success with my processes. Today, I want to remind you, you are the operant power. You are creating your... When you imagine something, it's already yours. It means you already have it. If you can imagine it, it's already yours. If you desire something, it means you already have it. There's already a reality where you have that desire. So you're just shifting to that reality that already exists where you have your desire. Meditate on that. Meditate on feeling that you already have it. You already do have it. You could simply affirm i already have this it's already done it's already mine i'm calm cool collected i already got this it's always been mine right so affirmations are creating your reality and affirmations will shift you into that reality you change your reality simply with affirmations and affirmations are creating your reality already because affirmations are thoughts that you think. Like you're thinking thoughts and those thoughts are manifesting your reality. So whatever you want to create deliberately, just affirm it. Just tell the story where you already have it. You already have that desire. Therefore, you're not looking for it and you're not looking for evidence. You already have it. So you're knowing it. Or maybe you're loving it. Or maybe you're in gratitude. Those are, that's the place where you want to be. Gratitude, loving it. Love the vision of you with your desire. Ooh, I love that. Create that picture of you and your specific person together and just think about how much you love that. You don't have to think about time and space. Don't think about time and space. Just go to the vision. I love us together. I love that we're madly in love. I know that this is done. I know I create my reality. Okay, so that's some of the ideas for the thought process, right? You just soothe yourself through it. And you keep affirming. Keep affirming. And it keeps bringing you to that place. I love knowing this is done. I love knowing I could just live my day and do whatever I want because it is done. Hi. Hi, everyone logging in. Gauge where you're at by being aware of what you're thinking and what you're feeling and what you're assuming. What are you assuming? Because this is this is part of the process, right? To be a master manifester, you need to know where you're at. Are you living in the end or are you reacting to circumstances that are unwanted? It doesn't matter how you react to the circumstance as long as you know the desire is already yours. So it doesn't matter how you reacted, react how, however. But that reaction is going to take you into the future. Okay, so even if you reacted to some opposite circumstance, assume this is all part of the unfolding. No matter what's happening, you're giving it good meaning. Give it good meaning. You already have your desire. This is part of what is supposed to happen. This is you living in the end because as you live in your, in your end and you stay there and you're persisting in the end, reality is shaping around you to prove to you that that's true. And it realizes in your world, it becomes a material fact. Thank you. Thanks for all the love. I appreciate it. Hello. All right. Let me let me answer questions. Cash. I all I have it already. It's a mind thing. Basically, the end state. Exactly. It's already yours. You already have it. You're already living the the dream life. You're not thinking it's out there or in the future. It's like you take the future and you make it now. I already have it. I'm already living my dream life. Now, be living life with like let go of the worries and the doubts and the fears you are a billionaire you are a millionaire the money is already yours you already are abundance you are already prosperity abundance you are already everything i feel like i have it but i'm waiting for it to show up in 3d okay well i mean that's it, it's not that okay you already have it just say you already have it and of course you're expecting it. You, or you ordered it. You're expecting it. You're not waiting for it, needing it. You're just, you're just expecting it. It's already done. Everything that's happening is happening because you are already in the end. 
live your life. It's coming. It's already done. It's already yours. Okay, Care Bear. I just got a rejection from my dream job. How can I manifest an acceptance? Just keep affirming it. I got it. I got the job. I'm so grateful. I love it. I love that I'm, I have my dream job. Do you understand that that job can call you back and accept you? I've had clients have this exact situation happen. They got the job. You have to persist because no facts are final. Don't take it as rejection. Take it as the bridge of incidents and this is done and you're going to live in the end until it's a fact in your life. You live in the end until it's a fact in your life. So to live in the end, you're going to speak to yourself. You're going to claim it. I love it. I got. I have my dream job. This is done. It's mine. It's already mine. I already love that I have my dream job. But what if your 3D is favorable? No one really talks about that. What do you mean favorable? <laughs> you mean it's good? Yeah. Like what if your 3D is favorable? That's what you want. Don't you want to be living the life that you want, it's favorable and it's done and you already have it and your desire's already yours. You already possess your desire. You already have your desire. It's already in your possession. Claim it's already in your possession. I'm not afraid to boldly claim that is already in my possession. So does that mean when you manifest, once you create your story, you have to let go of the outcome? You don't have to let go of the outcome. I, I, I keep um, my vision on the outcome, and I keep declaring that outcome is mine. You let go of the worry, the doubts, the fears. Okay, you let go of needing it to happen now because you already have it, so you don't need it to happen now because if you need it to happen now, I mean, I would go, go a little deeper into that. When you're needing it to happen now, is it because you feel like you don't have it? Th those are the kind of questions you ask yourself. So it's done. You're just going to claim it's done. Hi, Angel Star. Can you give some tips on clarity? How to, Are you saying, how can you have more clarity on what you want? Just start speaking that into existence. I have clarity. I know what I want. Is that is that what you were wondering? How to have clarity on what you want? Is that just maybe you could clarify for me. You could clarify for me. But if you want clarity on something, start claiming it. I already have the clarity. I already have a focused mind. I already know what I want. I already know good things come to me. I already know I'm living a good life. I know it only gets better and better. Okay? Some of your clarity could be what if, let's say you don't know what you want, but and you want to get more clear. Maybe you don't know exactly what you want, but you have an idea of what you want to feel around your desire. So is it that you want to feel um, maybe happy or fulfilled? Like, I intend to feel fulfilled. I'm feeling fulfilled. I feel happy. Okay, I intend to have happiness, fulfillment. I intend to feel passionate about my own life. I intend to love living my life. Danny, why do some people reflect the new me and for others it's still the old version? Uh, maybe you're looking at, you're seeing and you're seeing the reflection of that old version and you're maybe having a conversation with yourself about that old version and maybe you're wondering why hasn't it changed? Okay, um, get, okay. You, you have the power to make any change. Okay, I mean, without talking to you specifically, I don't know that I can answer that, right? I can only go off of what your question is here. Hi, um, is it Serene? Today I woke up angry. I know I'm worthy of it, but I'm tired of being alone. That's, that's, that's you living in the end of being alone. I want to share my life with someone. Build, grow your garden. When you're waking up angry and you're feeling alone, you're looking at the facts of life. Many of us, we lived life that way. I'm tired of being alone, but that's not going to get you there. You, if, if you, here's one thing you could do. If you start loving your life, build your garden or grow your garden, grow the vision of that you love your life, you'll reflect a reality that matches that. I know I'm worthy of it, but I'm tired of being alone. That's a story. Everything's a story. That's the story you're telling, and your reality is impersonal and proving to you that's true. Okay, yeah, let me show you you're worthy, and let me show you you're tired of being alone. You're alone. Valentine's Day is approved.
approaching and you're alone. It's already mine. I See, you want to just tell a different story. It's already mine. I love love. Just instead of talking about what you don't want, I'm tired of being alone, then you're going to create that. How long do you want to create that for? Start saying what you love. I love romance. I love flowers. I love being treated like a princess. I love being treated like a goddess. If you start speaking to yourself like this, you'll create it. Talk about what you love. It doesn't mean, so that's living in the end. That's living in the end of having your desire. I love being a priority. I love being seen and heard. I love being in a relationship. I love kissing. I love embracing. I love love languages. Okay, so talk about the things you love. You will change your life. You will manifest that person in your life talking about the things you love. Talk about the things you love in, about yourself. Okay, the things that you love about yourself. I love that I'm an amazing person. I love that it's great to be in a relationship with me. You can make it, this change today and reflect immediately. You can have an immediate reflection. I, I'm always having immediate reflections. I'm having very instant reflections. I affirm something and then boom, my world just shows, shows up and proves it to me. Okay, how to handle thoughts against me. Well, thoughts are a choice. You could choose what you think about it. So start changing what you're saying about yourself. Okay? You just you have to persist. Start persisting and start claiming who you really are because who you really are is infinite love and who you are is everything. You already are everything with persistence, with affirmations and persistent persisting. There's that phrase from scripture or the bible or something it's like if god before me who could be against me if god god is you are god right god is you i and my father are one you you and god god is your imagination creating everything infinite powers within you if god before me who could be against me repeat that just keep claiming i believe in me I'm getting everything I want. And then you just keep claiming that over and over. Hi, Corona. Sometimes I feel I'm not in control because I haven't got my manifestation. I know this is wrong, but you're claiming you haven't gotten your manifestation. You are in control. You already have, like, you have to say it before it reflects in your world. You have to say it before it reflects in your world. Okay, so then just shift it. I intend, to, I intend to feel I'm in control. I am in control. Okay, I'm guiding my life. I'm guiding a great life. I'm living a good life. I love, just that statement, I love. Talk about the things you love. Okay, I love. And then maybe even just take a piece of paper and every morning spend, like, I don't know how many lines are in a sheet of paper, um, but just take your notebook and all those lines, just write, I love, I love, and then whatever it is, anything, anything about yourself, anything about your life. Now you're going to be guiding yourself to think about the things you love. You'll be creating things you love. You'll be creating those things that are desires, your manifestations. I love when I'm treated with respect. I love when I receive gifts. I love that I am a priority. I love that I'm in love. It's just that you're not living in the end. You're just living in the end of something that you don't want. Okay, so I guess you're, you know, of course that feels wrong, right? Because you're living in the end that I haven't got my manifestation. You're always living in the end. You are always living in the end. Think about that. You're always living in the... You're always living in the end of something. Are you living in the end that your manifestation is yours? Or are you living in the end that you haven't gotten your manifestation and you're not in control? You say it before you see it. Okay, you say it before you see it. You claim it or declare it. You just keep saying it, keep declaring it. And, and you're going to say who you are because it's you changing your identity. And everything is literally just shaping and forming around who you say you are. I am in control. Just keep repeating it. 
I boldly claim who I want to be. Even from the beginning, I would just boldly claim it. I was, I was insecure, but I just claimed I was secure, right? And I just like, I am secure. And I claimed it until I became it. And I became that. And I became that. My world kept proving to me that that was true. It kept showing me the truth of what I was claiming. So just boldly claim it and keep claiming it. Hi, future misses. Yes, you can speed up a manifestation. You're claiming that's who you claim you are. I'm someone who manifests now. It's already mine now. It's already done now. I do this now. I manifest now. There's only the present moment now. You already have it. The only reason you don't have it is because you're talking about a reality where you don't have it. Not you, but generally, right? Generally, we talk about not having it. Oh, it's in the future. No, you have it now. You already have it now. Reality is only the present moment right now. You're claiming you have it now. Okay? It's already done. It's already yours. Uh, just a life. Yeah. Can I manifest most... <laughs> I'm talking fast today. <laughs> Can I manifest multiple things at once? New job, lose weight, better relationship with boyfriend. Yes. Yes, you can. Take a little phrase that would imply that you have it. It could be something like Neville Goddard's um, phrase, and I think jo Joseph Murphy too, both said like, isn't it wonderful? Or you could say, I love my life. I'm so grateful for what I have. It all worked. Any little phrase that implies you have it all, that makes you feel good. I love it. I love that I'm living my dream life. I love my life. I love that I have everything I want. So any or all of those, that's how you're manifesting everything at once. Like, I'm living my best life right here, right now. I have it all. And then guess what your world does? It proves to you what you're claiming right now as you stay there and claim it. Aloha, you said, what do you manifest daily? What do I manifest daily? I manifest daily, like everything. Everything I'm writing down becomes true. I Every day I write down in my journal when I wake up, okay? I'm, I'm not doing as much scripting as I did in the beginning because I don't need to, but I do write down things every single day when I'm manifesting. I already know what my day is going to look like the night before. I already know who's reaching out to me. I have a real estate business as well. I'm a real estate broker. I already know what's happening when I'm meeting with those clients. I already know what's happening. So what do I manifest daily? I'm just writing out the story of my life. I'm manifesting upgrades daily. I'm manifesting interactions that are harmonious. I'm, I'm, um, I'm manifesting relationships that are growing and building. I'm manifesting success stories every day. I'm manifesting money every day, more than I can even imagine and expect. Paint the picture of what you like and then keep testing it and then keep your vision like keep your your focus on your vision keep your focus on the vision sometimes we have specific things that we're doing in a day and some sometimes it's it's um maybe you're just going to play it by ear i have general ideas of how my day will go i don't have to micromanage every single moment of my day why i mean it's not that we can't do that sometimes i want to do that with certain meetings or whatever and I do that sometimes, but I just generally let the world show me it keeps getting better and better. How to maintain the finished state. You claim it. Okay? You claim it. It's done. I already have it. How do you maintain it? You, you keep saying, like, I'm someone who knows how to maintain this. I'm someone who knows what I'm doing. I'm someone who's a master at this. I know how to, how to maintain. So... Even if you just take the word maintain and you go to the dictionary, and what are other words that are similar, right? I, I know how to stabilize myself. I stabilize my life. I know how to maintain everything. It's always working out for me. I'm always in the end. It is true that the, um, the dictionary is your friend. So anytime I have an idea um, of something and I want to get a little a more clear picture or, or I, I, I want, yeah, I want maybe I'm trying to like paint that picture and I just take that word, go to the dictionary or I go to like uh, to synonyms of that word. And then that's painting, helping me paint the picture and, and seeing me in that vision, right? Maintain, 
hold. And then, so you just kind of feel yourself in that, right? You're going to feel yourself with the idea of the word. You take a word, it's an idea, and then you feel that. Uh, what do I do if people keep asking me if I got the job? I haven't yet, but I don't want to lie. Your reality is yourself pushed out, okay? You could say, I'm not worried about it. I already know the best things are, are coming for me in my life. I bet they're calling me now. They told me it's not working out, but I already know they're going to be calling me back. Like, it doesn't matter what you say to your friends. Don't let that what your friends are saying, don't let that guide you where you go. That's why people get caught up because they're worried. What should I say to my friends? They're just yourself pushed out anyway. Just be like, you know what? I don't even know, but I'm sure they're calling me back because I know who I am. I'm great. Maybe maybe something like that, right? Like, I, I know I got this. I got it in the bag. Even if they told me I didn't get it, I bet they'll be, call they'll be calling begging for me. They realize that I am the right person. Do you understand? It doesn't matter what you say. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you say. What matters is what your thoughts and intentions underneath it, behind it, your assumption underneath it. Okay, because you don't have to worry. Just, yeah, I didn't get the job. But that doesn't, you could just say that. I didn't get the job. And then in your mind, you're like, but they don't even know because I'm the master manifester. This job's mine. Don't let people influence you to have more to have doubts and worries. Okay, you could shut down the conversation if you're not comfortable talking about it and you want to live in your imagination with that desire, right? Keep the mental diet in your mind. Just be like, you know what? I'm not ready to talk about it right now. But I'm sure good things are happening in my life. Okay, it's all good, Emma. Hello. I manifest what I want without taking action. Yes, you can. Um, I manifest things all the time without taking any action. I just imagine it. I receive the phone calls. I receive invitations. I receive... So it's. I do take action in life. Uh, understand you're going to take action because aren't we here to live life and have a good life and to take action and to do, to do the things we love and that we're passionate about? But when people say without taking action, it's like all you have to do is imagine it. And then I have... I create where people reach out to me. I don't, like if I want to have something to do on a weekend and I don't feel like making a plan, I just assume I'm always invited to the best events and people are always reaching out to me. Like I'm making the assumption. Okay? If I want something to happen and I want my calendar to be booked for a day, I just assume that and then I receive I receive my emails and I receive my messages that fill up my calendar. Okay, so you can even affirm something like that. Like, I manifest without taking any action. It's just, it, it's a, the people teach us, um, you know, in mainstream life, we're taught like work hard, play hard or whatever. Work hard, put in the time. I don't. I don't really adhere to that anymore. Okay. I used to, but I don't do that. And I and I like what I do now. I like I like that it's the world's just literally wrapped around your finger. It already is. How does SP conform if he isn't speaking to me and I'm the and I'm only affirming for me and not him? You're the creator of your reality. Just assume. Just know that they're always reflecting you. If you're affirming that I'm a goddess. I'm irresistible. No one can resist me. No one can replace me. Then your world is going to prove that that's true, including your specific person showing up as that person that cannot resist you and that finds you irresistible. What you see about yourself is what's manifesting in your world. Okay, so um, I actually have an appointment and I, I think I have somebody stopping over uh, to drop off something really quick. So I love you guys. Um, you are amazing. In my playlist, I have videos that you can listen to for, for meditation, for affirmation. If you want to do the work on your own, use my self-concept course. It is a course for success. You will manifest your desire with my self-concept course because it's a blueprint of success. And if you want to be part of my community, join my VIP group. I love getting to meet you all. I love all the success stories. I'll see you. I'll see you next time. I was going to say maybe tomorrow, maybe tonight. I don't know. I'll see you guys later. Bye.